Hey, what's up, party people? This is DT with yet another video for you. Now, today we're going to be going over yakiniku. And to that point, I have come with my family to eat at Kalbiya, a yakiniku spot found in Yokosuka City, Kanagawa Ken, at the address below. Now, I will say that this place is not a chain, as far as I know, but it is definitely has some of the best cuts I have ever tasted in Japan. There are chains out there that cost way more, and some that cost way, way less, but this one is reasonably priced for the product that they put out. The argument can also be made that this is the second best yakiniku spot in all of Yokosuka. There is one other but it's more expensive and way less seating and the menu is complete Japanese. So let's get the grilling and learn some new things and get drunk. Say what? What? But first, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video or the small red square at the bottom right corner of this video or follow us on Instagram or Twitter at DaddyTJapan. <laughs> Got your nose. They even have a little tablet that has items translated in English. But some of the translation can get a little <laughs> can get a little comical. Now let's look at the menu, shall we? So you'll hear terms like roast and kalbi and harami thrown around when you come here. But what exactly are they and what do they mean? Let's go over that. So, karubi is basically the meat around the ribs. Roast is essentially the meat from the shoulder all the way down to the hip or loin. And harami, well, that's actually the meat directly underneath the diaphragm. Some of y'all probably scratching your heads right about now like, diaphragm? You mean birth control? <laughs> What's that gotta do with yakiniku, man? <laughs> you know, on full well, you don't even know what that is. Well, basically, the diaphragm is the muscle that separates the stomach from the chest. Now the kaurubi cut can be the more expensive out of the three, depending on where you go. And here specifically, they have a combination plate, and it's actually very cheap during lunch, around 11.30 to 2.30. Come with me if you want to drink. You can walk away paying around 12 US dollars for a meal. A very good one too. And obviously with all this grilling, your grill is going to start accumulating fat and grease on it, which can increase the chance of an even bigger fire. You can either put ice cubes on the grill if that happens, or be proactive and politely request that they change the grill out. How do you ask that? I'm gonna tell you. And without the risk of sounding like a textbook. Now remember, you can ask this at any Yakiniku restaurant. It doesn't have to be this one. Now this is real Japanese. Ready? Okay. Simasen, or excuse me, Ami Kokan Onigaishimas. Ami, which means the grill, Kokan meaning change. So that's how you get that done. You just learn some real practical Japanese, and for free too. You're welcome. No, it doesn't have to be all beef. They have pork and even seafood at Yakiniku restaurants. 
Scallops and prawns are ever present as well as salads and kimchi if you want to just eat that. It doesn't have to be all meat, so don't get discouraged to go. Also, if you do not eat pork for health or religious reasons, but you are with someone that is eating pork, then let that be known and grill your meat either first or if you have two grills, utilize one just for that or just change out the grill mesh altogether when it's your turn. I actually know someone that doesn't eat pork at all and we grilled on separate grills for that just because, well, <laughs> Okinawans, they dine on that swine, like for real, for real. And me too, I can't lie. So just coordinate that so it doesn't become an issue because I have seen it firsthand ruin a day out. It's not worth it. This is harami by the way, and when you're actually grilling on here, try not to overload the grill because it's going to take longer for the meat to cook and it might not cook as even. You don't like daddy tea? I'm just going to keep watching this stuff and not subscribe. <laughs> try to space out the meat when possible. This is Ika or squid.
Who's my precious little Osahi Super Dry? You are. Hey, yes, hey, you hey, are. Hey, yes, you are. Come to hey. daddy. Come to daddy too. And look, they even have desserts such as cheesecake and ice cream. Fun time for the kids. And fun time for me. I'm about to tear this cheesecake up. And there you have it. You learn what goes on inside a Yakiniku restaurant. You also learn how to request to change out your grill mesh and some new terminology that's used inside. And you also learn how to prevent burning the whole place down. You look good doing it too. And more. Hope this was helpful. Check back next week. I'll have something up again. Appreciate your time. Love, peace, and hair grease. DT out. I should have sus sus subscribed. Come with me if you want to drink.